as you may have seen, over the past few weeks, President Biden has been getting agitated uh, at reporters, primarily, and others as well, twice now, with Fox reporters who asked what we consider to be perfectly on-point questions about the possible Ukraine uh, invasion by the Russians in Ukraine. Obviously, that's something that we want to know the answers to. Also about inflation, which is the number one concern of American voters right now. Media Buzz host Howie Kurtz joins me now. Howie, good to see you. Um, what do you see at work here? What, what does this reveal to you about the president and how he feels about how things are going? Well, first of all, President Biden looks petty and thin-skinned when he insults reporters. It's beneath the presidency. And it's a disturbing pattern where he's doing it in response to even routine questions about inflation. And you think inflation is a political liability, as Peter Ducey has, not exactly a kick in the pants. Uh, but it's not about Fox. He did this last year with CNN's Caitlin Collins, telling her that if she didn't understand the point he was making about Putin, you're in the wrong business. I'm glad the president called our colleague Peter Ducey to clear the air. And I have to say, uh, Peter Ducey has handled this whole episode brushing it off with extraordinary grace and humor. Yeah. Um, there's a piece in the National Review today, Howie, that suggests that this is not coincidence. And also the Bull Connor comments, all of it, they suggest could possibly be part of a strategy to sort of try to show that the president has a fire in his belly, um, that he's not afraid to push back. You have obviously observed a lot of presidents and their interactions with the press over the years. What do you think? Well, President Trump had a strategy. He spent four years calling journalists uh, morons and idiots and That's enemies right. of the people. I criticize that, too. But President Trump uh, faced extraordinarily intense media hostility in a way that President Biden has not. Mostly he's gotten sympathetic coverage, at least until the last few weeks. Now, I've known Joe Biden since the 1980s, and he used to enjoy sparring with reporters. So what this says to me is that he is really feeling the pressures of this very rough stretch in his presidency. Uh, he's not used to, even though all the years on the world stage to having every word analyzed and scrutinized. And I think it's just his temper getting the best of him. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a good look to be talking about stupid SOBs. And the fact that he has to apologize shows you that the White House understands that this is not helping him. Yeah, he tweeted out in October of 2020, decency, honor, respect, treating people with dignity, making sure that everyone has an even chance. I'm going to make sure that you get that. You haven't been getting it in the last four years. So that was the goal, um, to come into yeah. office with that kind of environment. Howie, good to see you. Thank you so much for coming by today. There are a lot better ways to have the, ha handle the press. Good to see you, Martha. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.